Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant, we are back for some more Rogue Trader. Uh, we are in the governance camp. Uh, we just had a fight against uh, some Drukari. Their leader was called, I think, Mak Makayevic or something like that. And this was for the quest Blades in the Void. So we answered the call for help, which was apparently a ruse. The Drukari called us, not the actual people in need. Uh, why does this in progress not go away? Go away. Thank you. And now what we have is... Ah, Marazai. Explore the systems of the Cinerus Maleficum Nebula. The Xenos Marazai dares to give the Road Trader an ultimatum. Fight a final battle in the Cinerus Maleficum Nebula or continue fending off raids. It would be unwise to agree to terms set by enemies of humanity, but it is permissible if it will mean an end to constant attacks. Okay, I do think it's best to just end it. Uh, probable location. Not guaranteed. Ah, so what? Like one of these? Lapidus Mortus, Last Chance of Sirene, or L Litoribum Maledicta. Okay. So, before we head off, let's actually check out the loot. Uh, I think this will all be Drukari stuff. God damn, that's medium armor with 55% armor. And 15% more armor against those attacks. This is awesome for Argenta, for example. Damn, what do you have? What's your sets my path? Yeah. I mean, mine is also pretty good. It's also pretty good. So can't really complain all that much. Um they have ooh, light armor with 40% as well. 15% more dodge if the agility is more than 65. Okay. There's definitely some cool stuff here. I think this will all be... Uh, I'll, I'll sort out the cargo afterwards. A pile of mutilated bodies with cut tendons and shattered Victory bones. Awaits. Yeah, these guys do not mess around. They really do kill their, <laughs> their enemies. It looks like this warden died before he could reverse his weapon. We killed the snake person here. We can see a snake butt. Solid snake. There's an aristocrat on the floor. The dead warden is pinned to the ground with the blade of their own broken dagger. It was plunged right under the, their chin to ensure that the victim slowly choked to death. Yeah, not, not nice people. Oh, this is locked. Ah, okay, tech use. My success yeah. is Cargo. The governor's body was masterfully disemboweled. His many implants were removed, after which, judging by the amount of blood, the victim lived for a while longer. And this guy has a sublime subdermal gem and embroidered cloak, plus 5 bonus to persuasion. Whenever the wearer is affected by an ability, they gain 3% dodge until the end of con- Ooh, this stacks! Damn. Okay. Uh, I think with our party, it's... It can stack fairly high. Okay, let me look at my at my cloaks right now. While in combat, whatever this cloak ends a 15 bonus to fellowship whenever there are no enemies in 4 cell radius. This is good. Uh, immune to burning. Um... Oh, was this added? This text over here? Don't remember. It's cool, but it's kind of specific. Abelard. Whenever the wearer deals damage with a melee attack, they gain toughness bonus plus three times iconic level temporary wounds. Melee attacks deal additional temporary wounds. Okay. I had forgotten about this. For every kill, the wearer increases their critical hit chance by 5%. God damn, that's good. What is this? This set of chemical reagents increases the damage of all bleeding, burning, or toxic effects applied by user by two. Okay, that's actually interesting. Although we're not really applying poison anymore. Ah, uh, no, poison we are. Yeah, we're just not using the lightning thing. I mean, is it worth it? Would I just prefer dodge? She already has a lot of dodge by using this. And unless she kills herself, of course. Mimic fibers blend the coloration of the weather in their surroundings. The cloak grants the weather a plus 10% dodge. Uh, 
she actually does some buffing herself. So she would get buffed like, let's say, Voice of Command, Air of Authority, something from Edita that would be 9%. Yeah, I think I think I just prefer the static 10% right now. Okay, so we'll keep with what we have for now. This Sybarite. Okay, so we've checked all of this. I won't tolerate Oh, weakness. athletics over here, just to, as a shortcut, right? Yeah, just a shortcut. Unexpected result. Good. <clears throat> Let's go back to our void ship. I know I keep saying this, I need to, to respec uh, at least uh, Pascal, but I, I have so little time to play right now that I just, want, I just want to play a little bit. I don't want to waste a lot of time looking at his respec, but I will do it eventually, I promise, I promise. Um, okay, so what we want to do, we want to check out the systems that were mentioned. I wonder if the game will notify me... Uh, no, this is the one for Iliad. Is it... Mm. Okay, so wait. Pro location. Lapidus Mortis, Last Chance of Serene, Lytoribum Maledicta. Man, these names are not very memorable. Lapidus Mortis. Mortis, but not that, right? I wonder if those are planet... Oh! Oh! Oh, it's here, it's here, it's here. <clears throat> so, Last Chance of Serene, Light Toriba, Maledicta, and Lapidus Mortis. Okay, cool. So, uh, I think I'm actually going to check out... No, I'll leave this for later. Uh, let's go there right now. Where are we, by the way? We are so far away. Holy crap. Okay, so, Warp Travel... And uh, I mean, I, I, I could almost just chart a course. Oh no, it's three. <laughs> While this one, I would cost like two. So three, five versus two. I'll just take the two. So we want to go over here. The duty officer reported an incident in the shuttle repair bay. A security team was dispatched in response to the stress signal, but when they arrived, they discovered that the shuttle repair crew had doubled in number. Somehow, every crew member now had an identical twin, but each assured the enforcer that they were the real one. The enforcers immediately opened fire, killing everyone in the bay. That's... Goddamn. The duty officer awarded the squad a commendation for their vigilance and efficiency. Okay, I love that. I love that. In a very weird way, I love that. So we have this shortcut here between Trinitos and Mundus Valanches. I'm going to use it. We don't have to hop through all of those. And now we go here and from here we're going to reduce the difficulty and then continue. The engine decks were transformed into exotic gardens. Several chambers sprouted foliage, vaguely resembling the plants of Terra, although they exhibited a glass-like surface polished to a mirror sheen. While reflections in the plants perfectly copied the surrounding objects, they did not show a single living being. Those who peered into them saw grotesque blood-covered creatures instead, not unlike bloated abyssal fish with a pair of clawed limbs, sometimes more. Unable to destroy the sinister growth, the voidsmen covered it with plasteel hoods until leaving the materium, finally ridding the vessel of the corruption. Okay, so again, nothing special. <clears throat> and from here we are going to lower difficulty into unsafe. And we're gonna travel. We're gonna chart a new course. We're gonna find these two, I imagine. Yep. It will cost me some navigator points to actually go here. What is this? Oh. Oh, can I just... Oh, this is, this is better. Is this new? Or has this always been here? This is actually cool. Aha! Discovered resource! It tells me exactly how much they have. This is very nice. I don't have to write it down anymore. Yeah, this one is good. Okay, <clears throat> let's not get sidetracked. 
Uh, Lightoribum Maladicta. No enemy ships in sight. But I imagine that one of these planets will have a um, an encounter to play. Okay, Plasteel, again, I don't need. I'm gonna say this one or this one are gonna be the ones with the event. And of course I'm wrong. <laughs> uh, two provisions and Wasteland Wayfarer. Take my people, yep. Looks like an abandoned uh, warehouse type of thing. Okay. So we're right into this facility. <clears throat> Doesn't seem to be a large area. Shall stand in Awareness my way. test over there. Again, this... Why doesn't this work sometimes? This ocular implant was a worthwhile investment. Oh my god, man. What did you find, though? Dude rolled a four. What did you find? I know I found something. I don't know it's what. About time. Oh, cutscene? Cutscene. Oh. Oh. We're locked in. Interesting. I'll lay claim to the stars. My house would be proud of me. You hear a strange sound reminds you of dripping water or the clattering of something sharp against metal. <laughs> That's probably the one. What? <clears throat> There's a they? door. Oh. They're in the walls above us under the floor. They're scratching at my skull. They want to disembowel me to wear my skin. Hmm. Lovely. Okay, so we have an area over here. We have an area over there. Um, I don't think I want to jump into this area yet. A lot of entry points. A new challenge for me. That makes me anxious. Yeah, so four entry points here. Let me actually check this door first. We can, I can see the oh. agitation and fear of the servants beside me, but you. How do you manage to drown out their colors with mere words? Their dark hues dissolve immediately, and humility sets in. I... Uh, <clears throat> I have always desired only respect, not fear. Well done. It is good to know that my efforts have not been in vain. Thank you for telling me. Oh, I like that. <laughs> so we can open this with athletics. I won't <clears throat> tolerate weakness. Let me see if I have a way to improve this, actually. Uh, I might actually have it. How may I serve the dynasty? Oh, no, I, I can't do this. Okay. Um, okay, so items for Abelard. I imagine accessories. Uh, let's go by type. Uh, I imagine it would be like something like boots or gloves. Wait, what is this? What is it? Uh, oh, ho, ho. this is fun for Idira. <laughs> okay, none of that. None of that. I'm thinking we have nothing. <clears throat> so I will just carry on, I think. Whenever the Oracle is attacked, they will attack all enemies and two cell range. Okay, does it matter? Okay, well, let's just try it. Who thought that was a good idea? Failed it. <clears throat> God damn it, man. I wish there were a way to actually, you know, bypass this somehow. Follow my lead. Nothing escapes my sight. Or retake the test. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to remember if we level up. I want to try and go back here and see if I can retake the test. The metal box was brutally forced open. Why would the ship's owners break into it if they could simply turn the key? I'm guessing it was not the... Oh, I can't actually... Oh, it's, it's just lore. Time. Okay, there's people over there. Let me get my formation ready. A Vox Cleric. Is he alone? He is alone. 
Hunched over the Voxcaster, the hooded man mutters monotonously but emphatically into the microphone as he rocks slightly to and fro. In the light of distant stars, our Emperor Progenitor wanders warily. With thoughts and visions of us, he sends us particles of his light. Through his body, though his body suffers, his mind lingers on us. Let us therefore nourish him with the light of our souls, with our prayers, with our faith. Argenta frowns. The faithful worship the Emperor and a great many names and a great many fashions. And yet, I do not like this prayer. Let's observe silently here. The man falls abruptly silent as though sensing your presence. Then he says, and here come the afflicted. With a pale hand, he throws back his hood. You see an ugly... I actually don't see an... Oh, there you go. You see an ugly face. It's actually kind of whitish, isn't it? With a flat, wide nose. Voldemort. Disproportionately large brow ridges. Earless eyes with enormous pupils. A wide, toad-like mouth and skin that transitions to purple scales at the cheekbones. Standing before you is an abominable subhuman. A mutant. Welcome to the abode of the nourishers. Uh, I mean, I can, I can try it. Look closer at the misshapen man. Oh, yeah, baby. This... How much did we roll? Roll to 40. <laughs> this being's nature had strayed too far from mankind's blessed genome. The creed sees no humanity in deviations like these, and so it commands that such creatures be exterminated without mercy. Okay, who are you? The man smiles the broadest smile his abominable mouth can produce. I am Lecocht. Clamavus of the nourishers of the afflicted. I am he who speaks to our progenitor. This ship belongs to me. I, I kind of want to go for this one, but I'm going to try this one first. What was that you were muttering a prayer? I was praising the emperor uh, proge progenitor so that my brothers and sisters might repeat the sacred words with me. Under stars unknown, he keeps his vigil and sends us his light. He is exhausted and maimed, but in his graciousness, he does not allow himself to forget us, and we are grateful. We know that our prayers will quell his agonizing hunger, and therefore we speak to him. We beckon him so that one day, he and his faithful may come to take us under his care. I'm guessing he's talking about some kind of warp god. The man rocks gently in places he makes his speech. Idiot clutches her head. Blast it! The pressure! What is this thundering whisper that drowns out the voices? Cassie begins to rock to and fro ever so slightly in sync with the man. Purple. Everything is purple. I can see. Yeah, do you mean our god, the master of terror who sits atop the golden throne? Or the blasphemous petty deity of whatever cult you're in? I know no god but the emperor progenitor. Others are either figments or ephemeral fleshless spirits. Do you believe in the god emperor, the protector of mankind who dwells on holy terror? Make your answer forthright and clear, for I stand before you as his chosen servant, and this rogue trader has been anointed by him. The man's only response is a mocking grin. I see. A <laughs> blasphemer. I understand this to be a trap, am I correct? Indeed, afflicted one, you have nowhere to run. The mutant shrieks, grinning. May the grace of our progenitor be upon you. His words are piercing, becoming a shrill echo of a hundred voices, minds. Growing ever louder, it torments your mind, and before you know it, you reach for your weapon. You are my next stop. Okay, actually go back, man. Humility but... never hurt anyone. I help others better themselves by wholeheartedly humiliating them at every step. Thank you, Abelard. You hear a clanging echo growing louder in the empty modules, like hundreds of clods striking bulkheads and grabbing onto bars. Whoever is advancing upon you, there are a lot of them. You ought to run for your life before they trap you in this crammed Vox cabin. Argent's expression brightens. Countless foes in a cumbersome position. Oh, Emperor, I thank thee for giving us another chance to test the sweetness of battle and the solemn joy of courageous deeds. Sister, I fear we are about to partake of something quite different. Or more likely, something is about to partake of us. Okay, let's make a dash for the Vox Caster and try to connect the ship. We failed. Damn it. Wherever the dead man's insane sermons are being broadcast to, static is all that fills the air. For a moment you think you hear Vigdis's voice, only for it to dissolve immediately into the static. Idira touches her temples and says in a hoarse voice, They're flooding the air with their psychic whispers. There's so many of them. 
Okay, so we can power retreat, but I kind of want to kill people here. So let's look for cover. One look tells you that there is nowhere to hide in this place. Well, at least you haven't wasted too much time. Okay. Cassie looks around anxiously. They can smell our thoughts. They can see their color, just like I can. There's no hiding from them. I wonder why this option is here. Hmm. I kind of want to hold still and listen to see if Idida can come up with something. <coughs> or even Cassia. Let's try this. The clanging is getting closer. It's coming from the ventilation shafts and dried up fuel ducts. The deck under your feet vibrates. They're closing in. The psychic din grows more and more distinct as the abominations rush toward you. You know what I'm thinking about here? <clears throat> I'm thinking about an enemy type from Dawn of War 2. Warhammer 40k, and I forget the name, the, um, the Tyranid, I think they're called. Like the, the little uh, alien dinosaur things. Okay, plan retreat. If you had a few hours to explore the ship, you surely would have found any number of discrete shafts and unlocked modules you could use to leave the ship. As it is, you're only aware of a single possible escape route through the airlock back the way you came. Any other path may lead to a dead end. There's an old military adage that says, when you're already in deep trouble, don't poke around anywhere unless you know what you'll find there. I propose we get out the same way we came in. Optimal retreat without calculated delaying not advised. We've got to go. Okay, so I guess let's just leave. Your gaze falls on a rune-covered control panel near the Vox receiver. A green lumen burns beneath the engage airlock seal switch. The switch socket is corroded and does not immediately yield to your touch, but the lumen changes color to blood red, and the whirring of deactivated airlocks rises up from the depths of the ship. Oh god. I want the goods though. Ooh. A heavy stubber. Oh, this is just like, um... What is this? Rate of fire 10. Uh, it's not a bolter, so I think it's going to be worse than what um, than what she has. Yeah, so more rate of fire, less range, more ammo, less penetration, less damage. Okay, no. So, like they were saying, the best course of action is just to go back and not the same way we came in. Um, don't go exploring other places. I kind of want to go here for this loot. None shall stand in my way. Oh. I see your darkened colors. <clears throat> what the hell is that? A gene stealer? I don't know what this is. Zero deflection, good. Level 4 difficulty. Oh, that's a lot of 8 points. 55 armor, 95% dodge, 10 movement points. So he is kind of rough. Ah, his armor goes down the less HP he has. Scything Claws, Bestial Rage. Whenever an enemy attack deals damage to this creature greater than 15% of a creature, uh, uh, the creature gains 5 weapon skill and strength. And Brood Instincts. This bloodthirsty creature hunts for prey but hides for one round every time damage is dealt to it. If two or more creatures of the same kind are adjacent to it, the creature becomes fearless and stops hiding. So what? If I shoot it, it's gonna hide? That seems sucky. These corridors are also not helping me. Uh, okay, so let's... <clears throat> let's do this. Hi. Uh, Avalar, you can... Idira, come here. Argenta, go there. Pascal, come here. Cassia, go there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So Cassia is starting. I I kinda want to give the turn to Idira so she can start buffing, but if if the same thing happens that's been happening these past few episodes. I'm gonna regret it. Uh, I'm, I'm still gonna try it. Isn't this a job for the Because source? you know I'm stubborn like that. Anything Pray. Is. Resolve. But of course. 
Okay, we haven't died yet. Good. And I'm gonna go for Iron Arm. Good. And what? Do I go for Warp Speed? I think it might be useful because looking at this skill, it seems like more enemies are gonna join in. And having this just as a buff until the end of combat is gonna be helpful. Um, okay, so MP by 6 and AP by 1. I think this would be best for Abelard to start off at least. Okay, we didn't die. That's good. Stop mocking Pass. Me. Uh, you can stay where you are. I don't think he has a range attack. Yeah, it seems to only be melee. <clears throat> okay, so we pass. Now we go for my character. And I think I'm gonna take my turn just to buff. Not to actually give air of authority to anyone. Already so done. take those. Pass. Now Cassia plays. I'm gonna put the front line here so he takes more damage. I'm not accustomed to I'm gonna put around. the rear on top of Argenta. Me. And I'm gonna put the back line on everybody else that's not actually shooting a lot. Okay, perfect. Uh, we have trench line. For one round, all allies gain 14% cover efficiency and re-roll all failed characteristic tests. Okay. I can just place it here because why not? It's free. Um, I feel like I want <clears throat> reveal the light on herself. Isn't this a job for the serves? <clears throat> I'm probably gonna buff Idira here. And give the extra turn to Argenta, or do I give it to... I think I'm gonna give it to Abelard, actually. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give it to Abelard. Okay, so this would be one, two, and then this. And then he can charge and smack. Okay, that's my... My hope here. Okay, so go one, go I'm two, not accustomed to being ordered go three. Around. I could just go for Brace for Impact. So that everybody gets the... Um, melee superiority... Immunity. Uh, at least these two <clears throat> would get it, not the other ones. Sure. Indeed. And now the plan would be charging. Plus one attack. That's two hit point, two uh, AP. Plus endure. And then I'm not sure if I can kick. Okay, I'm gonna start with endure because I always want that. So charge attack. That's two. I could just... I'm, I'm gonna use Sworn Enemy. Yeah, so just Sworn Enemy. It might even happen that when I charge him, he will hide, and then I can't really do much else. I wish I could charge into a position that's not in line of sight uh, of Argenta. I could just use Charge for Movement and go over here and then attack him. I think I like that best. Or... Just taunting screw. Okay, I'll just do this. Okay, he got smacked. Into the shadows. It's wounded and intends to hide temporarily. Once it licks its wounds, it'll continue the hunt. So, what? I... Uh... I'll just smack him. I will do my duty. Ah, an exemplary strike. Okay, he doesn't hide right away, which is awesome. God damn, a lot of damage from <laughs> from Cassie there. So we pass, and now we're playing with Argenta. But now the unfortunate part is, if I wanted to go for a burst, I can't really do it without injuring Abelard, unless I <clears throat> unless I do something like go over here. I don't really have a way to do it without hitting Abelard. Um, so I think I'm just going to go for a Devastating. 
And okay, wait, wait. So impact drops the target prone. Energy inflicts blind. I'm gonna try and prone him, and see if that prevents. Um, I'll do it. Hiding. <laughs> okay, I think he probably saved. Yeah, succeeded. Ooh, this guy cannot go down. Holy crap. Um, and now I will simply swap to my sniper rifle. <laughs> We're gonna go for wildfire. And just shoot him. Doubt is for the weak. This is why I was okay. chosen. And I suppose I'll just go for entrench here. Faith without okay, so he's gonna hide. <laughs> Grey hair, sure hair. Oh, does he just run away? Oh, he heals for a lot! What the hell? Am I supposed to run away while this guy is... licking his wounds or something? I'm not sure. Okay, what if I just shoot you in the face instead? Okay, do that. Exploit weaknesses. Cull the bolt. Precise attack. And shoot. We're gonna miss, of course. Idira. What? Was that you? Or anything else? Okay. This reaches. On it. Okay. <laughs> we have a lot of range for him, which is good. <clears throat> so he still has sworn enemy. I have seven hit, uh, seven AP. So I can charge him for a bunch of damage here. Let me actually start with endure before I forget. Now, wait, what? Victory is imminent. Lamb. And now I'm gonna go and build up my stacks with a brutal strike. That's two more. It will be done. An Good. Strike. And now I go for wildfire. Back and call. Attack. <gasps> and kick. It will be done. Oh dude, three hit points. Come on. Uh, I can just do this, right? Uh, oh, wait, doesn't he have voice of command? He has voice of command. Oh, that doesn't matter. Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I was thinking of something else. My bad, my bad. <laughs> uh, okay, so moving over here, can I actually reach him? Can't. Damn it, man. So short the range. Hmm. Well, I can just give it to Argenta then. Does your sniper reach that far? It should. If if your sniper reaches, then her sniper reaches. It does reach. Okay, so I will assign objective. All too easy. Okay. And now she has voice of command and air of authority. I'm gonna make her my servant. Not a problem for me. I will buffer with take aim. Nothing I can And I'm gonna do. say bring it down. Already done. I'll do it. Dead. Okay. Now is the combat over? Combat is not over. Aha, okay, of course, because more keep coming in. I think we have to start running. I think that's what we have to do. I think we have to start running. Okay, so I'm gonna buff warp speed on everybody. I think is the plan here. We'll do. Okay. You pass. Uh, you can use run and gun. Because currently you can't really move. All that much. 
Okay, I also used the entrench with two AP, so I should get back some more AP and MP, I think. Rejoice in battle! I'm done. I'll go over here and I have four AP. <clears throat> I have an heroic act ready, so it uh, says priority. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna use this. Guided by faith! <clears throat> and now I will go for Concentrated fire plus devastating attack, or just concentrated fire, I think. It might not matter, right? So, one, two, zero, three. No, I would have to start with a single shot. Okay, so single shot to build up a stack. Sorry, uh, so 1 AP goes up to 5. No, this is 0. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna waste my 0 AP attack on, on nothing here. Okay, so concentrated fire. Burst him. As the Emperor commands, I act. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this costs 0. Why does this cost zero? I don't actually know. I assume I have some kind of talent that reduces the AP requirement, but I, I, I just... I don't remember what it is. No... No, 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 no. None of this matters. That's a no, 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 and no. No, no, okay, I, I don't really know right now what is doing this, in any case, shoot, Doubt <clears throat> is for the weak. okay, six stacks, we're gonna go for wildfire with a devastating attack, I'll do it, as the emperor commands, and burst I again, act. He actually went down. Okay, good. Furious recital. Bench. Faith without deeds is worthless. Uh, <clears throat> just gonna buff somebody, like Cassia here. Suits my purposes. And I'm gonna move forward. I'm not very much a fan of this, of having to run while we're fighting. I'll be honest, but it is, it is different. So, I guess it's not all bad. Uh, okay, so, now I'm playing... He healed because it was his turn. Sure. Okay. I got an extra turn. I don't know why I can't use this right now, but okay. I can just do this because why not? Not a problem for me. And get over here and shoot the guy. No reason not to. Never wavered in the face of adversity. Okay. Everybody has voice of command, I feel. Oh you don't, okay. Oh you don't either? Really? Okay, take that. <clears throat> Another heroic act. Not sure what to do with this guy. Do I just ignore him or do I wait for him to come over here? My issue is if... If another one spawns here and comes this way, I'm gonna get flanked. But if I, if I take the time to kill him, it's just gonna take too long. It will just take too long, I think. I'm just, I think I'm just gonna ignore him right now. 
I'm gonna move in or move forward, I feel. Okay, so you have voice of command, you don't, so I take am that. A not a take air of authority. Uh, you do not have reveal the light, so have that. If I may. We're gonna run in. Be careful not to cross my gaze. I will put backline over here just so we are kind of a little bit safer in case something comes to ambush us. Isn't this a job for the serfs? And I guess I can just give Argenta an extra turn. Because again, there's no real reason not to. She can even use a heroic act to to get another buff for her. Yeah, I like that actually. Okay, so take Well, first of all, can I do this? Willpower failed, but it did not get pulled. Okay, so take that. Why can't you do this? Why can't I do this? That is not the Emperor's will. Already using an heroic act or that? I know I did, but I just picked this up, goddammit. Can use both the heroic act of the arch militant archetype and the heroic act of the warrior or soldier archetype in a single combat. So why can't I use it? <sighs> Let's just not not think about it. Uh, I will simply blind that him. Is for the weak. I'll do it. This is why I was chosen. Okay. And. I will burst just to build uh, stacks. As the Emperor commands, I act. You, my Emperor. Okay. And I can wildfire. Faith without deeds is worth this is why I was chosen. Okay. <clears throat> so oof. That was a lot of damage from the willpower thingy. Let's see if it works again this time. I don't know, man. Um, devastating. I'll Hit. do it. Okay. Hit. Thank you, my emperor. As the emperor commands, I act. Hit. Faith without deeds is worthless. I'll do it. Pass. He's running. Okay, so Pascal has a whole lot of movement points. What the hell? <laughs> I don't even know. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just gonna run again. Let's go over here. Explore, there's no one route. Forward. Uh, can't see anyone else. At least not right now. Request a Above that. So this, this turn, this turn, doesn't say this turn, just next tank. And we pass. And now Idira is going to run in over here and buff everybody with resolve. What is this popboarding? <clears throat> and now I would like to... So she has warp speed, you have warp sp uh, sorry, you have warp speed. I'm not gonna risk uh, too many perils of the warp. I'm just gonna, just gonna heal Argenta here. What of course. And I'm gonna pass. I don't wanna Well, I could deal damage to him. Actually I can't. So let's just stay over here. There is movement in Let's the not use any more points. And risk another um, explosion on her. Okay, so I can run all the way over here with Abelard. My so I shall. At the fall. Okay. I will build some stacks just by shooting this. Okay, good. Uh, I can even reload it. At your back. 
Can I use this? Too far away. Too far away. So just stay where you are. Uh, I'm gonna run. I shall not fear. Okay. What is this? What was that? Oh, I think something else. Okay. Another one spawned. I'm not very much afraid of them, to be quite honest. So I'm not gonna worry too much about this. Um, I will give this to Argenta here. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. And I'm just gonna run again. I have read tomes of military tactics. Let's put rear here. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Already has that. If I could pull this guy in, I could charge with Abelard. If I may. It did work, okay. Let's see. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Yeah, okay, I'll go for him. Uh, 3 AP. Okay. So I'm gonna charge him. Or do I... I can sworn enemy. Victory is imminent. Charge. Superiority. Brutal. Just building up stacks. Now I can go for a normal attack. Dodged. Okay. Need some more. Cassia's turn is done. We Where is my attack of opportunity, dude? Nowhere to be found, apparently. Okay, so we're gonna run all the way over here with Argenta and see if we can shoot the guy. Cannot shoot the guy. Okay, so just reload God this. Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. Why did you pew? I reloaded. <laughs> As the Emperor commands, I'm just preparing my next turn here. Doubt is for the weak. He's moving in. Pascal can go over here. Actually, no, go over there. Do this. Do that. Pray him up. Call the bolt. Okay. Lower his damage. Pass. <clears throat> Let's see if we blow up Idira or what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna move over here with her. Gonna keep pumping resolve. Okay. Analyze enemies. And <clears throat> do a lot of damage. I think is the plan. I guess I'll just heal Avalard first. Will do. And now do this. Good. And we pass. Now, please tell me you can actually... I'm gonna go for this guy instead. Just kill him. So, we go here. We do this. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. And I think I'm not going to... I think I'm going to... This kicks two cells away. Must be at least two free cells between the warrior and the target. Okay, so I'm thinking about doing this. Brutal. Good. Single. I don't think it's going to matter. Kick him and kill him. Idira took an extra turn. 
Uh, let's resolve what? What and you? pass. Or... I can actually do this with Avalar, but I think it's a bit overkill. I mean, is it? It will be done. It might not be. Let's just have fun. Okay, so Daring Breach. We'll rule the stars we go all the way over here. I can't actually kick or charge. Strange. But okay. And I'm gonna endure before I forget. Follow my lead. God damn. Oh! Oh, okay. Okay. As soon as you reach the door, that's done. I could have actually looted the place. Strange. Okay, not too bad. Uh, I'm actually going to try something here. I want to go back there. Uh, I'm going to quick save, just check. Can I go back there and, and loot the place? Was it... Uh, was it... I don't remember if it was here or if it was here. No, okay, it's, it's a one-time thing. Uh, yeah, it's a one-time thing. Well, might have missed something to be discovered in a future playthrough, I suppose. Not... Okay, I'm gonna wait on this. More plasteel, okay. So, final planet, continental world. A small planet gently wrapped in amber forest greets you with a ruby-colored dawn. Basil von dem Clark, the local governor, gives the rogue trader a warm welcome. After several glasses of Damascene, the sweltering ruler asks if Cordon von Valencius would like to keep him company during the upcoming hunt. Okay, accept the offer. After, uh, after several uh, hours of riding the local peculiar animals, you make camp in the middle of the Golden Forest. Basil von dem Clark points at the sky. A flat disk rises over the horizon, constantly morphing its color and shape. The forest grows silent and empty. You can no longer hear the singing of birds or even the rustle of wind. The governor nods with satisfaction, and a few shapes step into the clearing. Their bodies are twisted by an unknown phenomenon, and you watch the freaks with astonishment as they begin to dance to the throaty crackling of their brethren, turning the boning growths and pulsating flesh of their scaly hands toward the unnatural thing in the sky. Ask the governor what's going on. The governor smiles coyly. You are about to see with your own eyes what is happening here. Let's watch in silence. The hypnotic dance seemed to continue forever. The unfortunate creatures howled, whined and convulsed, unable to tear their bleeding eyes from the celestial body. When the pavonine disc outshone even the light of the local star, the physical shells of the things that used to be men burst, releasing beasts out uh, onto this plane that not even the most fluent and capable pen could describe. Basil von dem Clerk excitedly explained that the creatures you saw are the children of the great king of distortion. What? It is he who is the true god and patron of these fertile grounds. Once every cycle his chariot shines its light upon the world and bestows transformations upon his most ardent followers. The rogue trader may become one of his heralds. Oh, this is starting to feel cultish. Express the desire to become the herald of the king of distortion? I, I, don't, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. Execute the governor on the spot. <laughs> god damn it. I mean, I kind of want to kill the guy because this this just doesn't feel right. At the same time, it's kind of their local custom. What's going to happen if I kill the governor? Hmm. I'll leave him be. With all the messed up stuff that that happens in the world of Warhammer 40k, this is pretty mild. <laughs> Thank the governor and leave the planet. The senior officers observe suspicious activity emanating from the twisted celestial body at the heart of the system. The chaplain advises you to get ready for a potential encounter with spawn of the arch enemy, so it may be wise to reconsider unless you have holy relics, sacred wards, or blessed effigies of the emperor. Wait, what? So it may be wise to reconsider. 
Reconsider what? The potential encounter? A flame with a plethora of colors, the distorted slice of disc trembles slightly beyond the endless windows of the captain's bridge as the rogue trader's ship approaches its center. An otherworldly voice, cold and enveloping, enters your mind. What could this puny wretch possibly offer a king? Oh, it's the king talking to me. No! Bitch! The officers on the bridge look around, perplexed. Their eyes are full of terror and confusion. Many clutch their heads and let out long howls of pain. Some empty their stomachs, but most, pale and exhausted though they are, have joined the Lord Captain in resisting the entity's influence. And our ship took damage, which I hate. I will ask why I'm talking to. An endless flow of images fills your consciousness. You see horrifying scenes of millions of tortured souls. Their screams rend your mind. Their pain pierces you with a thousand red-hot needles. King. Ruler. The one who is obeyed. That's all you can make sense of, although you see much more. Command the entity to release the minds of the Amber Worlders from its grip. I'm guessing that I'm speaking to someone more powerful than I will ever be, but... Yeah, let's command them. The king's mocking laughter rings in your ears and a deep red trickle runs slowly from your nose and over your lips, leaving an aftertaste of salt and metal. Order a ship-wide thousand-voice prayer service over holy regulars for the protection of Amberworld, the Imperium and your own souls. <laughs> I want to see what this does. Attack entity with every cannon on board. How dare you disturb the king with trifles. The entity is furious and you feel a gust of invisible wind blow a thousand blades right through your ship. Officers are collapsing at your feet, choking, and hundreds of casualties are being reported from every deck. A resonant silence descends on the ship and a bright flash stuns you for what could be any length of time. So did we die? Or do we have a random encounter with enemies? Still, I refuse to bow to these stupid entities. I will take the damage happily. Um, so... Ah, so I have explored everything, right? I This was the, the... The hunting thingy. Or this one. Yeah, this one here. Wait. Wait, where am I? Did you toss me into another system? You little bitch. He did. He actually... <laughs> okay. He actually did. Um... Well, let's, let's go back to where we were. The war was a success, but the Vox Master reported the following incident. Beautiful blossoming vines had covered the deck and bulkhead in Ludic Base 6. Two workers had bent down to take a better look at the flowers, and the vines had devoured their faces before strangling them. The bay was then sealed and purged. Okay. And that's all normal stuff. All normal stuff. Okay, so we go here. This is repeated. Uh, we go over there. Repeat it. <clears throat> we go over here. Okay, this is where we were. An unforeseen event. I'm gonna quick save this. And I took damage again. Ugh. The golden forests of Ember World look enchanting even from orbit. I guess we can demand tribute from Ember World? What? Did I get something? No, it just did nothing. I am I am okay. I have no clue what that was supposed to be, but all right. Okay, so we are dealt. We, we have dealt with Litoribum Maledicta. 
Uh, I guess my next uh, objective is going to be the last chance of Serene. Just going to reduce the route difficulty here. And we're going to check this out in the next episode. So, for now, this will be it, my friends. As always, I want to thank you all for being here with me in the channel, watching some Rogue Trader. I hope you guys are having fun. Uh, questions, suggestions, you know what to do. Leave a comment below. If you are enjoying the content, consider subscribing for more. Um, many more videos coming out soon, and it's also a free and easy way to support the channel. I hope to see you all in the next episode, and until then, stay safe, everyone.